Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. I am Sue from OML Embroidery and OML Digitizing and today we are working in Hatch Embroidery software and we are talking about part two of Break Apart and its different uses. It's really a brilliant tool. So let's start off with making a new file so we can work on things. So let's do new blank design or control N on the keyboard. I'm just going to click on it because I use mouse or pen and we want to do a monogram just quickly so I can show you the break apart. So we go to the toolbox, which is one of my favorite places to be lettering and monogramming and click on monogramming and it automatically opens up all of your options. I've done a quick tip video on monogramming. So if you don't know what I'm doing, you might want to go back and take a quick look at that. But for now, we're just going to pick one and pull it up. If you want to change the letters, you go right here to letters and we're going to put OML. Whoops, let's do it in caps. OML. There you go. Beautiful. That looks good. I don't really like the colors, but they're showing up well enough. So we're just going to leave them. Now, what would happen if you wanted to move this? This whole monogram is one piece. Yes, you can change the letters. Yes, you can go to the ornaments and change them in the borders. But what if you wanted to change some of the elements in here? And if you look, uh, I would think, you know, first thing, maybe group or ungroup to ungroup the whole thing. But if you notice, they're not lit up, so they're grayed out and you can't use them. That's when you use your break apart. And when I go to break apart, it releases everything. So now if I wanted to tick this up a little bit or make it a little bigger, I, you can do that easily over there. But if you wanted to, this is all grouped now and I can tell that because I clicked once, all of these have the blue box around them. That means they're all in one. And also my ungroup became available. So these are all handy in a group and I'm gonna leave them that way because that makes it for easier moving. And I can move this around. You can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. And that is how you use ungroup for um, monograms. If anybody was getting frustrated with that, there's the answer. We need to use, I think I said ungroup. Whoops. Break apart. Break apart. Now all the pieces are broken. So there's quite a few uses for break apart, but another one is for applique. So let's do a quick bit of applique. So we click on the toolbox for applique and nothing else is available. You notice the break apart is also here. Let's go to digitize applique and let's do something really simple. Let's do right click, right click, right click and enter and we have an applique circle. And if you notice right here, this is your applique symbol. So your object type. And I love it that it's so large and you can see exactly what it is. And if you wanted to change anything, now we know the parts of the applique are as such that they have the running stitch outline, the tack down stitch, which is wide satin stitches or zigzag stitches, and then the final satin stitch. So what if you wanted to get rid of one of them? I think everybody needs tack downs, but maybe the placement stitch. What if you wanted to get at that? Then you go to the break apart and you click on it and here are all your components. That's the zigzag and I can pull it out so you can see it. That is the zigzag. This is the satin or the, sorry, the running stitch. And there you have all three of your components if you want to make any kind of adjustments or change the colors, or if you just wanna see where they are, whatever you need. Break Apart is the tool for you. So why don't we just uh, delete it? There's other ways of doing it, but if you wanted to do something in there and it's all in one, that is how you do it. There's a lot of other things that are involved with the applique, but um, that is, we're just talking about Break Apart today. And that is how you do it. So basically, Break Apart does exactly what you think it will do. 
it breaks apart components. It's different from ungroup. It breaks them apart. And that is how, for the second part, you use break apart here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to let me know that you want more videos just like this. Thanks everyone.